It was in Goa that Modi's first big elevation was made official where he was made the party campaign committee chief. And today, Modi is all set to sound the pole bugle in Panaji as the prime ministerial candidate. The BJP, which is expecting a massive turnout at the rally, is charging 5 rupees per head as entry fee for those who want to catch a glimpse of the party's poster boy who will attempt to woo voters in Goa today. Posters of BJP's prime ministerial candidate flanking the streets of Goa. As the state unit gets up for a historic turnout at the Modi rally today. We are expecting at least 1 lakh 25 to 1, it will be between 125 and 150. And that's going to be the biggest rally ever in Goa. Because the earlier biggest rally was uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee's rally which we ourselves did in 2003. Modi will kickstart his party's Lok Sabha campaign in the state. And the BJP is confident of repeating the success it achieved in the assembly elections. Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh, which has been won for us, I would like to give the people the honor of this victory. Because this victory is the fact that in 2014, in the Lok Sabha, the government of the Bharatiya Janta Party will be the government of the NDA in the NDA. Elaborate security arrangements have been made for the massive rally and police personnel are on their toes to ensure Modi's show goes smoothly. The BJP Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi will be in Goa for a massive rally outskirts of Panji. BJP President Rajnath Singh is also expected to be there. At least one lakh people are supposed to attend this rally. Apart from national issues, local issues will also be taken up by Narendra Modi. Modi returns to the place where he was elevated as BJP's campaign committee chief. And as BJP tries to cash in on his popularity, it remains to be seen if voters in Goa feel the same. Bureau Report, Times Now.